All right, so if you guys are going to follow some steps on completing quadratic formula, step number one, step number one would be to make sure you set to 0. So this is not set equal to 0, so I subtract the 3 on both sides. I get 4x squared plus x minus 3 equals 0. Step number two, identify a, b, and c. So in this case, a, remember, is the coefficient of my, a, of, my, of my quadratic term, which is 4. b is the coefficient of my linear term, which is 1. And c is equal to negative 3, which is my constant. Okay. Step number 3, determine discriminant. So you guys remember the discriminant. That's just b squared minus 4 times a times c. So in this case, that's going to be uh, 1 squared minus 4 times a times c. Ooh, cucaracha. Got it. It was a cucaracha. <laughs> OK. All right, so guys, guys, let's try to finish up. I have five minutes left. Julian, 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 Julian. OK. So 1 squared is 1. Let's do this step by step, because here's where students make mistakes. Negative 4 times negative 4, or I'm sorry, negative 4 times positive 4 is negative 16 times negative 3 is going to be positive. 48. 1 plus 48 is 49. Is 49 a square number, Mackenzie? Yes. Thank you. Looking up here. Yes, 49 is a square number. So I'm not asking you don't unless I tell you to write down what the what type of solutions are, you don't have to. But you guys should know, hey, there's gonna be two real rational solutions. Okay, good. So now what we need to do is we actually want to find the solutions. Rather than just saying, hey, there's two real rational solutions, we're actually going to find the solutions. Now, um, remember, guys, when you were solving a quadratic, remember at the end of the quadratic, you always said x equaled this and x equaled that, right? You guys remember that? Solving quadratic always at x equals. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the, qua the quadratic formula is actually another method that we're going to be able to use to find all of them. But I want you guys to understand that the quadratic formula is going to tell you the solutions for x. So it's going to be x equals. And then to find all the solutions, and we'll talk more about this next class where to find all the solutions, you're basically, the quadratic formula is opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. So what I want you guys to understand, when you guys write down the quadratic formula, which you are going to have to know on a test, it is not going to be given to you. Do you guys see that the number under the square root is actually the discriminant? Do you guys see that? So guess what? By doing the discriminant, not only did that help us identify the type of quadratic or the solutions, but that also did half of our work for doing the quadratic formula to find the solutions. Now I just plug in my remaining values. Opposite of b, b is 1, so that's going to be negative 1. Plus or minus, square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c well, that's just going to be the square root of 49, all over 2 times a, which is 4. So x equals negative 1 plus or minus 7 divided by 8. Now we're just going to do this. Now you can separate this into, you could say x equals negative 1 plus 7 over 8 and negative 1 minus 7 over 8. So let's go ahead and do that. So negative 7 plus, or negative 1 plus 7 is, negative 1 plus 7 is 6. 6 over 8. Right? And that can be reduced down to what? Three-fourths. Three three fourths. So my solution set 
is going to be 3 fourths. And then negative 7 minus negative 1 minus 7, if you owe me a dollar and you borrow 7 more, you now owe me $8. Negative 8 divided by 8 is negative 1. So therefore, there's your two solutions by via the quadratic formula. Wasn't that awesome? <laughs>